Welcome to Mission Ranch. These are sandbags and we filled them with dirt um, and we're going to shoot them with a variety of calibers to see how uh, they hold up certain bullets. And these you can order them from CampingSurvival.com. They sent them all to me and I appreciate that. And uh, also this awesome shirt. Alright, 9mm. Did that hit that? Yeah. Oh, I see it. Thought it was going to make more damage. All right, two, two, three. And this is a slug. Buckshot. All right, here is the nine millimeter bag. Went in right there, barely even can tell it made a hole. And I'm not sure if this one came out or not. There is a little, there is a bit of a hole here, but I don't think it was there before. So it looks like 9mm may have gone through. We'll have to find out in a minute. We'll test some more. The 223 went in right here. Little tiny hole. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera. It is very small. And nothing came out the back. That one completely stopped it. The shotgun slug. Ugh. Looks like it went in like this. I wonder if this thing was, I think this was the top of it. So it looks like it hit a little high. Went in there and kind of bulged it out a little bit, but nothing came out. So it did stop that one. The buckshot. Looks like the buckshot went through. Went in here, a little pattern about that big. Came out here in about the same size group. Um, so it looks like the 9mm and the buckshot may have made it through. Two 15 round mags out of a 9mm pistol. And I'm just centering them kind of in the middle of the wall. Goes two full mags out of an AR-15. I'm just kind of moving it all around that wall. This mag tube is full of slugs. Double up butt shot, finish off the wall. Try to put the wall back together, figure out what's going on here. Um, I shot it up with all the 9mm and 223, and then when I was shooting slugs over on that side, this wall kind of collapsed over here. We may not be the best wall builders either. <sighs> Golly, these are ripped up. Here, here. Oh, those look like 223s. This, this one may be out of place. Obviously, this is not the most scientific test. These are definitely 9 millimeters here. And those are, those are probably 9s because it looks like they came through. 
We may need to repeat the 9mm test because I'm not real sure. Once that wall fell over, they kind of all got out of sorts. These definitely here are all 223. And you can see a few of them did make it through, busted straight through there. This was all ripped up by 223s here. Looks like a Velociraptor chewed into that. That's a slug. All 223 right here as well. This is a slug, I believe. These are all 223 holes. And I would say maybe half of them made it through and half of them stayed in there. So decent stopping power. For a huge 12 gauge slug like that, it really did leave a small hole. That's a pretty good one because it went square into the bag and did not make it through the other side. These that kind of skimmed off it, I'm not sure if this one even entered or if it just ripped it, but looks like most of those 12 gauge slugs were stopping, which makes sense because they have so much surface area on them. There's a lot of dirt to stop that, and they're going slower than those 223s. Buckshot, same thing as we saw before. Buckshot was going through. Not all the pellets, for sure, but, but there are a few getting through. This one got hit pretty square on this side. Looks like a couple of them thought about coming through, maybe came through there. Hard to tell. Because the 9mm kind of got screwed up on that last one and the wall fell, we're going to do another kind of a little bit more controlled 9mm test over here with these sandbags. The uh, sandbags were donated by CampingSurvival.com. Thanks for sending those. The ammo in this video is donated by AmmoForSale.com and there's a coupon code to their website in the description below. And I'll talk to CampingSurvival.com and see if they want to send me a coupon code for you guys as well. If I do get one, it'll be in the description as well. Um, basically what we found was 9mm seems to go through probably 90% of the time. And those were full metal jackets. Hollow points would probably be a different story. Um, 223 went through about 50% of the time, um, and that's likely just because it has more energy and it can, you know, those, those bullets probably fragment a little more and flip a little more and they just don't go straight through. Shotgun slugs look like it stopped probably 95% of them, so they, they did not, they didn't really have any penetration at all. Um, and the buckshot, probably 40, 50% of those slugs, I mean, those uh, pellets went through as well. So this, uh, this dirt we're using is just the dirt that we have here. We don't have sand, we have this dirt. And this is pretty heavy, wet dirt. It rained um, yesterday, so the dirt's pretty heavy, and I thought it was going to uh, to stop these a lot better, so pretty interesting to see it just fly through. Um, it may be different with sand. We don't have sand to test this. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, and uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna find out if this wall will stop a couple of zombies.